Hi everyone, Dr. Scott Thero, board certified chiropractic neurologist. Today, talking for two minutes on your gut brain connection. Now, years ago when I started to study different aspects of nutrition and physiology, especially neurophysiology, we never thought we would be discussing as much as we are right now on the importance of clean water clean food, and good supplements to keep your intestinal tract working. Your gut actually starts at the very top end with your nose and your mouth. It then goes down to your stomach, and from there, about 25 feet of different intestines, and we all know where it ends. So, it's important to keep this intestinal system and gut system very, very healthy. Drinking water that's clean is an absolute must. We do not want waters that are toxified with different heavy metals and different chemical residues. We have to have as much organic food as possible. It's so very important to make sure that the food that we're taking in is as free of different chemical processes as it can be. And then you need to take different supplements like probiotics and vitamin D and essential fatty acids and, and maybe a fiber supplement if you don't eat enough fiber in your diet to give your gut and your intestinal tract the fuel that it needs to fight off bad bugs, and inflammatory types of chemicals. When you get inflamed in your gut, you can experience many different symptoms. People tend to develop chronic inflammation and pain syndromes throughout their body. Believe it or not, only about 30% of people that have food sensitivity test results that are positive on a blood test actually have GI symptoms. Most of them have some type of pain complaint. Chronic headaches, chronic fatigue, pain and muscle and joints that just don't rehabilitate themselves as fast as you'd like, attention problems, and now even my integrative psychiatry friends are talking about the importance of inflammatory mediated depression and anxiety. Where Scott, if we change somebody's diet and we heal their gut, we actually watch attention systems improve. We watch anxiety start to melt away. We watch depression start to melt away and energy come back. And of course, you all know how important I think sleep is. Guess what? A lot of times when you decrease an inflammatory load, such as a gluten-free diet or a casein-free diet, you start to see brain function that calms down and you start to sleep better. So, if you're wondering what you can do for better energy, better mood, better sleep, and better physical recovery in terms of exercise and less pain, all of a sudden you've got to start to think about your gut, how it's not only going to affect your total body inflammatory process, but also how it's going to affect your entire nervous system process. And that is indeed the gut-brain connection in two minutes. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I appreciate your time. Have a fantastic day. And a lot of people wonder how much sleep they get, they're still tired.